All Recipes member Ethel Mertz submitted this recipe for American lasagna, which is her take on a classic meat lasagna. She describes it as appealing to the eye as well as the taste buds. Another member, Joanna Stevens, raves, I have found my staple lasagna recipe. Let's get started by chopping one large onion. Then, mince two cloves of garlic. And rough chop about one tablespoon of fresh basil. In a skillet over medium heat, add one and a half pounds of lean ground beef. Break the meat up with a spoon. Cook it until it starts to get some color and add the onions, and the garlic. When the meat is evenly browned, drain any excess fat from the meat. Add the chopped fresh basil. A teaspoon of dried oregano. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Blend those in. Add two six ounce cans of tomato paste. and a 29-ounce can of diced tomatoes. Stir the mixture and bring it to a boil. Lower the heat and simmer for 30 to 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. While the sauce simmers, you can get started on cooking the lasagna noodles. Bring a large pot of lightly salted water to a boil. Add 12 lasagna noodles. Cook them for five to eight minutes or until they're al dente. Drain the noodles and rinse them with cold water to prevent them from sticking. Next, we'll make a ricotta filling for the lasagna. Add two eggs to a medium bowl and lightly beat them. Add one pint of part skim ricotta cheese. Half of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Two tablespoons of dried parsley. and one teaspoon of salt. Mix it all together and set it aside. At this point, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Let's assemble the lasagna. Start with a thin coating of sauce at the bottom to prevent the noodles from sticking.
place four noodles in the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. Next, cover the noodles with half the ricotta mixture. Then, sprinkle half a pound of shredded mozzarella cheese evenly over the top. And finish with a third of the sauce. Repeat the layers. First the noodles, Then the remaining ricotta cheese. Another half pound of mozzarella. And a third of the sauce. lasagna with a final layer of the noodles, the remaining sauce, and two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese sprinkled evenly on top. Several All Recipes members recommended covering the pan with foil. This keeps the lasagna moist and allows it to cook more evenly. Spray it with non-stick vegetable oil so that it doesn't stick. Bake it for an hour. Remove the foil after an hour and cook it for another 20 minutes or so until the top is golden brown. Let the lasagna cool for at least 10 minutes before cutting into it. Lasagna is always a favorite and a perfect dish when you have a crowd to feed. Ethel Mertz, who submitted this recipe, also notes that it can be prepared up to two days in advance and stored covered in the refrigerator until ready to bake. Serve it with more Parmesan sprinkled on top.